everybody. So I wanted to start this week off by saying thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday last week. I had a really great day, and so thank you for that. And before we get started on this week's project, I want to remind everyone that my giveaway actually starts this week, so make sure to stick around after the project, and I will give all the information on that. So um, this week's project is based on the Michael Jackson style of jackets that he made so popular a while back, and also it's the, the military style that has the braiding and everything, and um, it's very trendy again right now. It's made a resurgence, and it, you can find jackets like these in most of the stores at the mall. Um, one that I've seen carrying a lot of jackets like this is Forever 21, and I go in there, and they're so cute, but... Um, I'm not willing to shell out that kind of money for a jacket that, you know, you can't really wear it every day because it's so, um, it makes such a statement. So I wanted to try making my own for a much cheaper price and something that I can be really happy with. Okay, so for the budget this week, I used a jacket that I got for 99 cents at the thrift store. I used about 5 cents worth of thread. The braiding originally cost um, $3. The tram I used around the collar I used $0.50 cents worth and then $0.25 cents on the 5 button. So a total it was under $5 to completely remake this jacket. And um, I actually used a 40% off coupon on the braiding. Um, Joann sends coupons out a lot and they're really awesome so if you have a Joann's near you sign up for the little catalog and you will get lots of great coupons but um, I went ahead and calculated in the full price so that people who don't have a coupon with them will know still how much it will cost to make this jacket and what's really awesome is um, not only can you get a whole new jacket for under five dollars but um, you have tons of options. You get to choose the jacket, you get to choose the braiding color, the size, the placement, and so instead of settling for one of the few options that you find at the store, you can completely customize your own jacket and still be totally trendy. So let's get started on the project. For my jacket I chose some gold trim, five gold buttons, and some gold braiding. Start by measuring out your braiding and seeing how long you need it to be. Cut to your desired length. Then use glue to attach the ends together so your braiding won't come undone. Use a glue that won't wash out, not like the kind I used. Replace your braiding and sew the loop in place. Pen to your jacket and begin to stitch it down. Make sure that when you sew, you sew at an angle so that your thread will go in between the sections of the braiding and be hidden. And I would actually suggest that you have your braiding go to the center edge of the jacket. I didn't do that and it probably would have looked better if I had, but by the time I realized that, I, had, I was too far into the project that I was not going to start over. And this hand sewing can take a while, so I found it's uh, best to do it while watching TV or listening to some records or something because it can get a little bit boring after a while. Then remove the original buttons and sew your new buttons in place on the same spot that the old one was. Um, and before you change your buttons out, make sure that the new buttons um, fit well in the existing buttonholes. Thank you. 
And I decided to add some trim around the collar of my jacket. And so I just simply stitched this down in place with a straight stitch. And I also put a dab of glue on the ends of this trim so that it wouldn't unravel as well. You can really put trim just about anywhere on your jacket. Um, I thought about putting it down the shoulder seams, um, but thought it might be a little too much. But wherever you want some trim, just try it out. You can always remove it if you change your mind. I really like how my jacket turned out, and I hope that you make your own jacket and show us how it turns out. And I'll be right back with the information for the giveaway. So I've been talking about this giveaway for a few weeks now and it was originally for me having 500 subscribers and now I have over 600 so I'm a little bit behind but thank you so much again to everyone who's subscribed to my channel it means a lot to me and um, so I wanted to do a little thank you so that's why I'm doing the giveaway and to enter you have to be a subscriber to my channel if you're 18 you have to ask your parents for permission just for legal purposes or whatever um, anyone can enter worldwide I will ship to other countries and the contest starts January 13th 2010 which is today and goes until midnight January 25th 2010 so you have nearly two weeks and the way you enter is by answering the question that I'm about to ask in a text comment or video response to this video on YouTube. It has to be on YouTube to count. And so the question is, what is your favorite how-to video? And it can be sewing, decorating, cooking, any kind of how-to video that you think is really awesome. Um, so just let me know what it is, just give me a link and um, then you'll be entered and the drawing will be random so everyone has a fair chance and so enter away and I'm excited to see what how-to videos you all like and so um, yeah I will see everyone next week I'll have another tutorial then and until then don't forget to check out whitneysews.blogspot.com and I will see you next week bye the prizes for the giveaway are a pink zipper, five apple buttons, two different types of ribbon, a bracelet that comes in a bag I made, and a necklace and earring set, and also a couple of pamphlets that I got at Joann's that tell about different types of needles and different sewing tools. This is a wall quilt that I wanted to share that my mom is working on for Valentine's Day. So I, woo.